What is going on you guys, Bastion YG here and today I'm coming at you with a really really cool video so essentially if you guys not know I've been out uh, not for uh, if about 36 hours 36 hours at least from San Antonio from YouTube a little bit more just a lot of life stuff uh, traveling going on but I've been out of San Antonio for about 36 hours actually to be exact which is pretty funny um, but I pretty much went to go to New York called my dad out with a few things uh, but while I was there I got a chance to see Rob uh, my boy Godfrey, um, a few, uh, few friends here and there, but I was also able to get all of my old Yu-Gi-Oh stuff that I've been missing for the longest time. So we can actually go ahead and build DDDs, we can go ahead and build so many other decks, decks, decks bought all those random trash decks that I played way long ago, but I really, really love and just want to go ahead and revisit. Maybe I might mess around with Dino Mist, maybe I mess around with Battle Boxer, we'll see. But I really just want to go ahead and check this out with you guys. I haven't really fully looked through it. I just skimmed through cards that I knew were were decent and I wanted to bring because unfortunately I couldn't bring the whole the whole shebang because it was like an entire huge box. So I threw out a whole bunch of like the like the the bulk, you know, that the cards that you you know are never gonna be good. Um, but if I'm wrong, I probably threw away a whole bunch of really um, pricey cards. But that's neither here nor there. So let's go ahead and get right into it, guys. Uh, so it's it's been a while since, since I've been on camera. It's been about two weeks. Essentially, if you guys don't know, I pretty much record all my content on Saturdays. And then I post it out throughout the week. Uh, it's just when it fits time with my schedule. But uh, it's actually a Monday uh, today, believe it or not. Uh, for anyone who, who cares, I just uh, happen to be the day I got back. But I got a few hours before. I gotta start doing life stuff, so let's go ahead and just go ahead and check it out. Uh, besides this that I currently have, also, quick, you may have gotten a, a glimpse of it, but uh, my boy Rob actually hooked it up. Uh, so as you guys know, he works for Game Day Toys and Games in uh, New York. Um, and he actually saw a Trickstar World, Champ uh, World Championship Qualifier 2018 play mat. You can't tell me that's not nice. It's nice <laughs> so he hooked it up he was able to go ahead and help me out uh, acquire it so I'm really really excited to go ahead and have this um, I've been wanting one of these for the longest time I've been telling my girlfriend that I just really want one uh, but it's been ex actually really really hard to find so it just happened to come across this, the store he works at so it worked out also I was able to go ahead and actually uh, physically go ahead and visit game day toys and games in uh, New York which was a really really cool local so it really, really seemed very open very friendly so if you're in New York area around Myrtle Avenue I'd definitely go ahead and uh, check that out as well uh, also my old locals which was Royal Collectibles uh, that was the very first locals I ever went to um, so a lot of a lot of warm fuzzy uh, fuzzy memories from uh, from New York definitely uh, all right so let's go ahead and check out what we got uh, okay, cool. So, uh, Rose Warrior of Revenge. This is a really, really cool card. So basically, one of my very first uh, decks that I that I played um, when I first started playing Yu-Gi-Oh was, and these are ultimate rares, by the way. So that's really, really cool to see. Uh, one of the very first decks that I picked up was um, DD, not DDDs, but uh d.d not d dash d so pretty much just banish all my opponent's cards put uh, play three d fissure three macro cosmos back in what was this 2014 2015 uh so uh, rose warrior lady was a huge huge boost to my to my deck uh definitely i got to go ahead and pair him up with like dd survivor things like that uh so this is pretty much my easy way to get into stardust synchro dragon <laughs> uh back when people play that in their extra deck uh one piercing moray uh ultimate rare uh, i think this is probably one of the coolest ultimate rares um that i have just because i love the the texture on it i don't know how well you can see it in the uh in the big camera but let me go ahead and take it out for you guys it's probably gonna be a bigger uh, longer video than i thought i might go ahead and break this up into a few parts but yeah i just love the uh the ultimate this let me get rid of this let me go ahead and show you my just out the shower hair. There you go. You're welcome. <laughs> uh, so I just really love the texture on this. I think it's really, really cool. Uh, so I just had to go ahead and definitely bring this one back with me. Uh, then is uh, one of the best uh, decks that I wanted to learn how to play. Played it at one locals. And funny enough, it was, uh, I believe this was the first 
deck that I duel against Ford with. If you guys have not seen Ford on channel, he actually uh, still plays the Fluffle deck. So if you guys like Fluffles, it plenty of content on the channel already, uh, deck profiles, things like that. But I actually really wanted to go ahead and play Fluffles, and he was the only other Fluffle player there. So we started, you know, uh, we hit it off, started talking, things like that. So he actually, uh, that's why he, when he moved to San Antonio, I was really excited to go ahead and play with him. Uh, you know, we hang out again, but yeah, this was my very, very first, uh, oh, there we go. I actually really wanted the, uh, the original polymerization. I don't play any fusion decks currently. Yeah, I build prank kids, but I just prefer others at the moment. But I just think it's, uh, that if you're going to play any deck that has the, uh, ooh, card troopers, a hey, there you go. There's some, and the secret rare ultimate hero, uh, Neos alias. That's pretty cool. <laughs> um, but yeah, if you're going to be playing polymerization, you got to play the uh, the OG prints. I think, I mean, come on. Come on. What are you doing? What are you doing if you're not playing the OG prints? Uh, also, while I was there, I wanted to go ahead and, like I said before, get all my DDD stuff. So, uh, not this is not DDD stuff, but it's cool stuff that I had. <laughs> so, Injection Fairy Lily. Uh, uh, this is Japanese Blue Eyes? This is fake. Still blue eyes. <laughs> uh, Ma'at, uh, really, really cool artwork. Uh, some Metaphys cards, uh, some Luna Light cards, because, you know, Luna Light, that other Luna Light came out, so uh, it was called Luna Light Tiger, came out off the ban list, so I really want to go ahead and test that out as well. Uh, Dark Angel, funnily enough, is a Trickstar card. It uh, doesn't benefit the deck whatsoever. Uh, well, not really, it's not searchable, it's a dark monster, it is a fairy, but eh, it doesn't really benefit the deck. But if you watch the anime, I'm pretty sure it's in the anime, that uh, she gets like possessed or something. So, uh, yeah, I have Dark Angel. There you go, some more of the Luna Light cards. I believe I also got, oh, I think, <laughs> I think I got this one because I like the, uh, the artwork. <laughs> I just think it's cute. There you go. All right. Some Ignites, and there we go, the DDD stuff. So I had perfect double ore throws. It's funny enough, I had the super rare of the Ragnaroks just chilling. Uh, you can't, I don't know if you can see the rarity too, too well, but yeah, I got the got the super rare version. So that's nice, nice little rarity upgrade. Uh, I found some, some rares in uh, my local game shop for like five cents, but uh, you know, whenever you can get a nice rarity upgrade, you can't really go wrong with that. So definitely be on the lookout for a DDD deck profile in the near future. I want to say later on this week, if not early next week. Uh, it's a deck that I've been placing a lot online, and honestly, I really, really like it. Uh, honestly, this card is, is definitely slept on in the deck as well, so I, I'm finding out ways to uh, to incorporate it into my main deck. Uh, it really just matters on if I can, if, well, it really matters if you, you can get all the expensive cards for it as well. Uh, so cards like uh, like Baron the Floor, which really only expensive card in the entire deck. Everything else is relatively uh, inexpensive, uh, except for the Copernicus, which only has one printing. It's a like a fifteen dollar common, I think, still. So, uh, but I was able to pick up all the DDD stuff while I was there. Triple Gilgamesh, uh, Triple Griffin, and Double Deus Machinex. Uh, so we are good to go as far as that goes. We are all set uh, when it comes to the DDDs. All right, let's get this out the way. Uh, let's see. So you can check out my old trade binder as well. <laughs> this is before I had uh, good cards. So let's see what we even have here. We have uh, one Gale Dogra. I don't know if that's worth anything still, but I know that was like an $8 card more or less back in the day. Magical Muskets. All right. <laughs> I haven't seen this deck in forever. Make sure it's in the frame. I haven't seen this deck in forever. Forever, forever. I think this is one of the uh, uh, the set this came in was one of the first secret rares I actually pulled on camera. I pulled the secret rare of the uh, Musketeers. I forgot what, uh, what he was called. Obviously, I don't have it anymore. Um, but yeah, I got traded him real quick. Some Ultra Guy stuff, some Blue Eye stuff. And if you guys see anything that's worth anything, go ahead and let me know in the comment section down below because I honestly don't know anymore. Like I said, this I just saw and I was like, take. Uh, didn't really. Uh, look into anything some natasha's this card i hate this card it's got up against drytron in general the way it is now is such a pain in the ass natasha's uh, not a fan cosmo dark planet cosmo was one of my favorite decks back in the day uh photon sanctuary that goes towards the galaxy photon deck i've been trying to build on the side that deck is expensive man 
uh, Cosmo Dark Lady. I know this car was like 12, 15 bucks um, a while back. I'm not sure what it's at right now. I'm pr I think it was reprinted, but uh, again, uh, I'm out of the loop as far as the these type of stuff goes. This thing is like when I want to know what something, what the price something is, I immediately go and look for that one specific card. That's all I care about. I'm not a vendor any type of way. Uh, some Secret Six Samurai stuff. I actually built a really, really cool deck with this back in the day. Again, the deck profile should be uh, way, way back, way, way back in 2018, uh, back when Dragonic Diagram came out and the Six Samurais, because I actually built a True King uh, Six Samurai build. It was it was nuts. It was like, really, really good. I was so happy with it. Uh, okay, so King of D stuff, some more Blue Eyes support. Let's see what we got here. Oh, nice. Hey, that's badass. <laughs> we got ourselves another ultimate rare. Atomic Scrap Dragon. There you go. Yeah. I don't know if you can see the foiling too well on here, but that is really freaking cool. I'm pretty sure it's like a 10 cent uh, ultimate rare, but still an ultimate rare nonetheless. For any uh, scrap players, hit me up. Definitely selling that. <laughs> Not gonna, uh, not trying to build it anytime soon. Okay, we got a DDD Wave Oblivion King Caesar Ragnarok. I'm reading this upside down, so if it looks like I'm illiterate, uh, that's not not entirely the case. So some cool stuff over here: XYZ Dragon Cannon, uh, some Fornoid stuff. Cool. Uh, Pot of Riches. That's an interesting card as well. I haven't seen this card come up at, at all recently, actually. So there we go. Wow, I had I had like no good trades back in the day. <laughs> That's funny. Let's see. Oh, some of the platinum rare noble knight stuff. That for some reason everyone hates the platinum rares. Honestly, I don't see it. Crawlers, nice. I actually built a no, I didn't build crawlers. I built ten dangles. Uh, that 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 deck sucks. But this is really cool to see. As well, Swords of Concealing Light was real good back in the day, as long uh, along with uh, Master Pendulum, the Draco Slayer. Let's see, uh, Treeborn Frog, some True Draco stuff. Oh, cute! Emergency uh, Rescute, Rescute. That's adorable. <laughs> Fusion Substitute. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, the old fusion substitute combo with uh, with Zodiac. Hey, we got a third uh, DDD Orthros or DD Orthros. Nice, nice. I did see the Siegfried in the other one, but I, I wasn't really gonna pull it out. But I mean, if we got the Orthros and the Beowulf things like that, they, this this card sucks. I mean, we're not gonna pay too much attention to that. Uh, we got the Mighty Power, Forbidden Apocrypha. I forgot how busted this card was going up against. Uh, well, back in uh. Back in 2018, going up against Zodiac, they would build all their their different, uh, they would have all their Xyz out, Broadbull, Dryden, things like that. And I would just flip for, for Bang Apocrypha, which states if you do have two or more of the same type of extra deck type monster, you just send everything to the graveyard. So that was actually just nuts going up against uh, any fusion deck as well. Really, really good. I miss this card. I really do. Hey, we got Light Swarm cards. Nice. I've been looking to dabble in the in the light swarms there we go soul exchange always a good card to have in the event that it becomes good again uh quiet life i've seen uh, this come up recently not sure where that might be worth looking into and some more platinum rare noble knight cards nice <laughs> all right legendary collection yugi's world so with this um i actually have no idea really what's in here hey trickstar cards <laughs> nice trickstar cards the uh, the original printing from code of the duelist probably the best printing aside from of course the ultimate rare version of lycoris and this and the ots version of the uh lily bell uh, okay, so we got some Air Knight Parsath cards, some Splendid Venus, Athena. Huh. Which Athena is Trickstar support. It is a light fairy. So there we go. I think I actually had the, uh, the, what's it called? The counter fairy structure deck in here somewhere. So we got Air Knight Parsath. Yeah, yeah, that's definitely what it has to be. Nova Summoner. Is it? 
I think there was some other type of fairy. Like, hey, my ignites. <laughs> oh man, I forgot who topped with this. Was it a uh, was it Hanko Chow that topped with this? Uh, like, um, uh, he played Zexol, Zexolock ignites. I think that's it. Um, that's really funny. That's cool. That's another deck I would really really enjoy uh, revisiting as well. So that'd be pretty cool to see also. Let's see what's what's this from. Ah, in case anyone doubts that I went to Royal Collectibles, I'm pretty sure there it is. This is right there, Royal Collectibles. I spent twenty four dollars there, or this is just a sleeve they gave me when I traded for something. <laughs> Let's see, Desk Bots. Yes, this deck was a lot of fun. I love Desk Bots. It's... So here's the thing. But when you're first starting the game of Yu-Gi-Oh, your skill level is very low. And me first learning, picking up Pendulums, this might have been the first Pendulum deck that I picked up, the uh, the Deathbots or Dynomist. Um, but I really, really like this deck. I mean, just being able to uh, make 0-0-4 and just get over whatever your opponent had, it was just so freeing. Really, really cool. Metaphist, another really cool archetype. I uh, never really took off as well as I thought it would. Some more Ignites, some Battle and Boxers. Yeah. As far as artwork goes, I think this is this is probably my favorite just as far as artwork goes. Uh, I love uh, boxing themed things. I don't watch boxing as much as I would like. Although, I will say Ryan Garcia is coming to San Antonio on April 19th. So I, mo I should be going to that fight. Uh, have I gotten tickets? No, I'm still waiting for uh, confirmation for a few things, but that'd be really cool to go ahead and see my first uh, IRL boxing match. That'd be pretty cool. Uh, some Satellar Knights. I never played this deck. Some Tin Dangles. There we go. Actually, Ardlord, Christia. Um, what was it? Well, this card came up recently. Was it? I got a comment from, uh, from Glass. I think it was Glass Gaming. Uh, who plays the uh, the World Chalice deck, uh, and he played this in his in his uh, in his combo. So that's might be really cool. I might have to go ahead and revisit that as well. Uh, Glass, if you're watching, appreciate the heads up, man. There we go. Some True Draco stuff. Some sleeves. I will have to throw out. I probably should have done thrown these out in uh, a mono Wado. I've been looking for the third one, <laughs> so I can get my full power True Draco. And we have another. A, another ultimate rare, nice. Axe of Despair, really, really good. Way back in the day, nice. Intercept Wave, our next ultimate rare. So everything on this screen that I'm seeing, that I'm talking to you guys right now on, not not this screen. I mean, talking about me, uh, is reversed. So I, th this I am illiterate because I can't read backwards. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Let's see what else we have here. This might have to be a two-parter, just because of <laughs> how long this is taking to look through all my crap. <laughs> I probably should have divided this up before, but it's cool seeing like all the old cards. Spirit Reaper, Penguin Soldier, Penguin Support came out. Might uh, might may mess around with that. Uh, Time Wizard and the dang this thing is messed up. From yeah, from Structure Deck Joey from way back in the day. So this is really, really cool. Major throwback on that one. And the same with the uh, with the Time Wizard. No, no, this is from uh, DLG1. I don't know which set that is. Uh, Alligator, Sword Dragon, Strike Ninja. Strike Ninja was always, I thought was a really, really cool card, mainly from uh, Duke Devlin's uh, Dice Monsters game, which I actually have. I have the Dice Monsters, uh, Dice Monsters game. I forgot what it was called. Uh, hey, Millennium Shield. There we go. Shout out. Um, but it was, I couldn't bring it. It's too fragile at this point, you know, unfortunately. But it's really, really cool. Hey, what the hell is this? Why do I just have cards in Japanese? Is it fake? I don't know if it's fake or it's just super faded. The the little uh, sticker, you know? Flame Swordsman, Flame Swordsman. Oh, there you go. Wow, I definitely built the Joey deck with this. You can already tell. Where did I get these Japanese cards from, man? I have no idea. Amp, uh, amplificador, because this is a card in a guy in Spanish. Uh, don't know why it's in Spanish. There we go. For those of you who don't know, uh, I don't think I ever said this on camera, but I first started collecting uh, Yu-Gi-Oh cards uh, when I was still lived in Peru. 
which is where I am from. Um, so, hey, another Mar hey, another Marty Wano. <laughs> uh, some Trickstar support. So, uh, if a few cards are really old and in Spanish, that's where I got them from, most likely. Some good staples, Book of Moon, Light Imprisoning Mirror, Shadow Imprisoning Mirror. These actually come up in the meta quite a bit, depending on what we're dealing with. So, that's pretty cool to see. Uh, number 80, Berserker, Fiendish Rhino Warrior. Let's see. Some Performer Pals, Appropriates. It's a good card. Photon Current, Suijin. I, don't think, I think this is the only one of the Gate Guardian that I actually have. Uh, still in the search for the other ones. I should probably just get them just for nostalgia reasons. Some uh, Gold Secret Rare stuff. A DDD card. Dark Mirror Force. Radiant Mirror Force. Uh, let's see. This uh, Bujin uh, Rank 4, which I remember was really good. I don't remember what it does. Uh, Flamville Euroquisis, which actually is my very first Synchro Monster that I ever owned ever owned Flambeau Euroquises. So this is actually the, the exact copy of the first sinker I ever owned. So, fun fact. <laughs> there you go. Goyo Emperor, Goyo Yoko, Goyo Goyo, and Speedroid cards. There we go. That's pretty nice as well. <clears throat> put this over here. Put this over here. Alright. So what I'm going to do is I still got a lot of stuff to go ahead and look over. It is over 20 minutes and I you know, I don't, I don't want to be that guy with hour long videos on his channel. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut it off right now. Just know that we got more Trickstar support. So uh, Trickstar deck profile is going to be coming up very, very soon that I actually have all my Trickstar cards. So that's going to be exciting. <laughs> Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Uh, be on the uh, lookout for part two.